Доброе утро! Добро пожаловать на мой канал. Good morning, welcome back to Russian with Nastya. Today we are going to learn some verbs that are used with accus accusative case. Accusative case in Russian is винительный падеж. Винительный падеж. Uh, let's write it down. Винительный падеж. Так, немножко дальше. Винительный падеж. Пишем. Write everything down with me. It's very important to do that. Винительный. 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 Ударение на букву И. Падеж. This will be the word of the day. Падеж. Падеж. Винительный падеж. Винительный падеж. Accusative case. Давайте напишем здесь. Accusative case. Accusative case. case. Винительный падеж. I will give you verbs and the nouns that you can use these verbs with. Uh, the combination of a verb and a noun. Good morning. Спасибо, Раул. Очень приятно. Доброе утро всем. Good morning to everybody. Доброе утро. So, винительный падеж. Uh, the first verb that you will use with accusative case, первый глагол, который вы будете использовать с винительным падежом, is читать. Читать. Чи читать 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 means to read, right? Читать to read to read читать. So читать. And the noun, the following noun, the noun after читать, after the verb читать, will be used in accusative case. Uh, and let's read, let's write some nouns that you can use with this verb. The first noun is читать книгу. The nominative is книга with a ending, but in accusative, when you have а, that means that it's feminine, you have to replace it with у. Книгу. Книгу. This is the accusative ending. Книгу. Читать книгу. To read a book. Читать книгу. Don't forget to practice with me out loud and try to copy my pronunciation. So, читать книгу. To read a book. With the verb читать, always... The noun, the following noun will be in accusative case. Читать книгу. Доброе утро. Читать книгу. Дальше. What else? Читать to read, for example, uh, a magazine. Читать журнал. 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 Читать to read журнал, a magazine. Because journal is a, mas a noun in, of masculine gender, the gender of this noun is masculine, nothing will be changed. It will remain the, uh, the same as nominative. So, journal in accusative, nothing will change because this word is masculine. Читать журнал, to read a magazine. Читать журнал, журнал is a magazine. Читать журнал. What else? Читать a newspaper, газета, газета, nominative, but because it is near the verb читать, we have to change it to accusative. So, газета will become газету. Газету. The ending is у, the same as here, because газета is feminine, it ends in а. And you have to replace a with u to make the noun accusative. Газету. So, читать газету, to read a newspaper. 
читать газету. Угу. Да, читать газету. Я читаю газету. Я читаю газету. Он читает газету. He reads a newspaper. Дальше. The next word. Читать. And следующее, следующее существительное. The next noun is uh, статья. Статья is an article in a newspaper. So I'm reading an article. Я читаю. Читать. Статью. 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 So, статья in nominative ends in я, but in accusative you have to replace я with you. Статью. In accusative only feminine nouns change. Статью. Читать статью. To read an article. Скажите, say, читать статью. Молодцы, очень хорошо. Пойдем дальше. Следующее слово – письмо. Читать письмо. To read a letter. Читать письмо. Давайте напишем письмо. Because this um, word ends in O, that means that it's neuter, so nothing will change. Читать письмо – In accusative, this word will remain the same. Nothing will change. To read a letter. Я читаю письмо. I'm reading a letter. Читать письмо. Всем привет. Читать письмо. Статью. Here you have a uh, soft sign. And then you. Статью. You. Хорошо. Дальше. What else can we read? What else, what other nouns can we use with the verb читать, to read? Uh, учебник, for example. Учебник, читать учебник. Читать учебник. Учебник is a textbook. Читать учебник, to read a textbook. No? Учебник. It is masculine, it ends in a consonant, so nothing will change in accusative. Just leave it like that. Like uh, you find it in a dictionary. Учебник, that's all. Я читаю учебник. I read a textbook. Дальше. Next verb. Следующий глагол у нас слушать, to listen to. This one we will use with accusative case as well. Слушать, 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 to listen to, слушать, слушать. Да, читать, um, <laughs> спасибо, Петру, мультимейск, <laughs> слушать is to listen to. To listen to, слушать. And the following noun will be in accusative case. Слушать. For example, слушать to listen to music. Music is музыка and in a, so it's feminine. When a noun is feminine, in accusative, we have to change the ending. Слушать музыку. Музыку. So I change the ending from a to u because I put this noun in accusative case because it is located near the verb слушать. To listen to music, слушать музыку. Слушать музыку. Очень хорошо. Молодцы. Да. Слушать музыку. What, can, what else can we listen to? Слушать, to listen to a lesson. Слушать урок. Урок. Because this noun, a lesson, урок, is masculine, nothing will change. Слушать урок. It is in accusative, but nothing will happen with this word. Слушать урок. To listen to a lesson. Слушать урок. Um, what else? Слушать радио, to listen to a radio. Слушать радио. 
радио. Слушать радио. To listen to a, uh, radio. Hello. Всем привет. Я слушаю радио. Because this word is neuter. It ends in O. Nothing will change in accusative. Only feminine nouns uh, will change their ending. Радио, да. Слушать радио. To listen to radio. Дальше продолжаем. Uh, слушать море. To listen to the sea. Слушать море. Море. E ending is another ending for neuter nouns. So nothing will change here. Слушать море. To listen to the sea. Слушать море. Or one more example is анекдот. Анекдот is a funny story. Um, usually it is this story is, in, is uh, it's not a real story. It's just a funny uh, joke. But uh, jokes usually are shorter. Анекдот is something longer. Uh, слушать анекдот to listen to. An anecdote. Anecdot. 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 A joke. A long joke. Да? Anecdot. Слушать анекдот. Хорошо. Следующий глагол, the next verb that we will use with accusative case is изучать. Изучать. To To study, изучать, 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 to study, изучать. This verb we will use with accusative case as well, so the uh, following noun will be an accusative case. Изучать, for example, русский язык, русский язык. Русский, Russian, русский, язык, language, язык, русский язык, изучать русский язык, to study Russian language, изучать русский язык, because язык is masculine, nothing will change, it will remain the same, русский язык, изучать русский язык, let's see an example with a feminine noun, for example, Математика. It ends in A, so it's feminine. And feminine nouns are changed in accusative case. So the last A will be replaced with U. Изучать математику. 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 So the ending is U because it's accusative. Изучать математику. To study math. Изучать математику. Отлично, молодцы. Я изучаю математику, да. Угу. Мы изучаем математику. We study math. Математику. And uh, another example uh, would be изучать, for example, biology. Nominative is биология. So it ends in я, yeah, that means that it's feminine, so we have to change it in accusative. Изучать, to study биологию, biology. Биологию. So we replaced я yeah with you to make this noun accusative. Биологию, to study biology. Изучать биологию. Отлично, молодцы. The next verb that we are going to use with nouns in accusative that, um, that makes nouns accusative is любить, to love or to like. Любить. Любить. Любить, to love or to like. We will use this verb. Uh, this verb will be followed by a noun in accusative case. This verb asks for noun uh, to be in accusative case. Любить, for example, what can you love or what can you like? Любить 
nominative to love your mother. Любить nominative is mama and then a. We have to put it in accusative because we have this verb here and we will say mamu. 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 Любить маму. To love your mother. Любить маму. Я не люблю математику. Yes. Or я люблю математику. Любить маму. Дальше. Uh, любить футбол. To love football. Футбол is uh, masculine. Футбол. Футбол. Любить футбол. And in a consonant, so it's masculine, nothing will change. Nothing will change here. Любить uh, чай, for example, to like tea. Я люблю чай. I like tea or I love tea. Doesn't matter. Чай. It ends in E short. That means that it's masculine. Nothing will change in accusative. Любить чай. To love tea. To like tea. Любить чай. Любить чай. Uh, what else can we... Uh, любить... Um, uh, to love pasta. Italian pasta. Pasta is pasta and then a, so it's feminine. In accusative, it will be любить pasta. Давайте напишем pasta. So we replaced a with u to make it accusative. To love pasta or to like pasta. Любить pasta. Uh, to like or to love literature. Uh, in Russian literature is literatura and then a, so it's feminine. We have to replace a with u, like here. Literaturu. 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 To like literature. Mm -hmm. Хорошо. To love or to like coffee. Кофе. Let's write it down. Давайте напишем кофе. It ends in year, but it's an exception. The, the gender is uh, masculine. In masculine, in accusative case, nothing will change. So, любить кофе, we will write like this. Я люблю кофе. I like кофе. Nothing will change in the word кофе, an accusative. Я люблю Я люблю. No, я любить is a verb in infinitive. Любить. When you uh, use it, you have to conjugate it. Я люблю кофе. Я люблю кофе. Я люблю маму. Я люблю футбол. Я люблю чай. Он любит пасту. He likes pasta. Она любит литературу. She likes literature. Мы любим кофе. We like or love coffee. Да? You have to conjugate this verb. Here I wrote it in infinitive just to show you uh, uh, the example of the nouns that we can use with this uh, verb. Хорошо. Дальше. The next verb is пить. The next verb is пить. We will use um, under after this verb. Uh, the noun will be in accusative. Pete, to drink. Pete, to drink. Pete, to drink. Uh, Pete. Mm -hmm. Хорошо. So, uh, for example, Pete, uh, cola is nominative. It ends in a, so replace a with u to make it accusative. Pete, colo. Колу. So I replaced a with u and I made it accusative because this verb asks for noun after it to be in accusative case. Pit колу to drink cola. Pit колу. Uh, Pit uh, to drink water. Water is вода and then a. So again we have to replace a with u. Воду. Воду. Don't forget that O is stressed here. Воду. To drink water. P. 
пить воду очень хорошо. Пить воду. What else can we drink? Сок. Juice. Сок. It ends in a consonant, so nothing will be changed in accusative case. Пить сок. To drink juice. Я пью сок. I drink juice. Nothing will change in this noun. Сок. It will remain the way you will find it in a dictionary. Сок. Because it's masculine. Хорошо. Дальше. Пить... Um, uh, to drink vodka. For example. Vodka. A. The ending is A. So we have to replace A with U to make it genitive. Vodku. Vodku. So A. We replaced A. Vodka with U. To make this noun accusative. Пить водку. To drink vodka. Пить водку. Я пью водку. Он пьет водку. And so on. Очень хорошо. Пойдем дальше. Let's continue. Uh, следующий глагол. Uh, вино. Wine. Вино. Давайте напишем. Вино. Wine. Вино. It ends in O, so it's neuter. Nothing will happen with this word. Пить вино. To drink wine. Я не пью вино. I don't drink wine. Uh, and вино will remain the same. Or он пьет вино. He drinks wine. Хорошо. Пойдем дальше. Um, again, let's uh, take the word кофе, for example. Пить Кофе. Кофе. As well as here, it's е, yeah, so it's mask, so it's it looks like neuter, but it's an exception, so it's masculine. Nothing will happen to this word. Пить кофе. Я не пью кофе. I don't drink coffee. Or я пью кофе. I drink coffee. Nothing will happen with this noun. Хорошо. Пойдем дальше. Let's continue. Next verb is покупать. To buy. Покупать. 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 To buy. Buy. To buy. Покупать. Покупать. Да, пить молоко. The same pitch, молоко, молоко ends in O, so it's neuter, nothing will happen with this word. Я пью молоко, I drink milk. You used accusative, but you change, you, you will change nothing in the word. Покупать, to buy, for example, a car. A car is машина, it ends in A, so it's feminine. We have to replace it with U. Машину, ma. She no. So I replaced a with u to make it accusative because this verb asks for the next uh, noun, for the following noun to be in accusative case. Покупать машину. To buy a car. Я покупаю машину. I buy a car or I'm buying a car. Uh, what else? Uh, an apartment. I buy an apartment. An apartment is квартира, ends in a, so it's feminine. Replace a with u to make it accusative. Покупать квартиру. 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 To buy an apartment. Покупать квартиру. We replaced a with u and we made it accusative. Я покупаю квартиру. I, I'm buying an apartment. Покупать дом. Дом. It ends in a consonant, so it's masculine. Nothing will change in accusative. Я покупаю дом. I'm buying a house. Я покупаю дом. Дальше. Uh, я покупаю food, for example. Food in Russian is еда. It ends in a, so it's feminine. In feminine, we will replace a with u to make it accusative. Еду. I'm buying a 
I'm buying food. Я покупаю еду. I replaced a with u to make it accusative. Я покупаю еду. Я покупаю еду. Да, я покупаю рубашку. I'm buying a short. Молодец, правильно. Мы покупаем сумку. We are buying a bag. Очень хорошо. Я покупаю what else? футболку, a t-shirt, молодцы. Я покупаю одежда, is nominative, ends in a, so it's feminine. We have to replace a with u. Я покупаю одежду, clothes, одежду. We will replace a with u. To make it accusative, because одежда is feminine. Одежда, ударение на е, одежду. Покупать одежду. This verb, покупать, the verb to buy, asks for the next noun to be in accusative case. So, to buy clothes, покупать одежду. Да? Хорошо. And the last verb that asks... Uh, no, there are a lot of verbs, but today I uh, gave you only these because I think they are very common. Так, и следующий глагол, and uh, next verb is, mm, let's take um, есть, to eat. Есть, есть, to eat. This verb also asks for the noun after it be in accusative case. For example, есть uh, to eat fish. Fish is рыба and then a, so it's feminine. We have to replace a with u to make it accusative. Есть рыбу. Рыбу. I replaced a with u. And it's accusative now. Есть рыбу. Я ем рыбу. I eat a fish. Uh, you can say я ем рыба. You have to change the word рыба from nominative to accusative to work with this verb. Uh, есть рыбу. What else can be it? Есть мясо. F uh, f uh, flesh. <laughs> мясо. Meat. Есть мясо. Мясо. Я is stressed and then о. So that means that it's neuter. Uh, in accusative neuter, nothing will change. Мясо. So the word will remain the same. Я ем мясо. I eat meat. Nothing will change. So я ем рыбу. I put it in accusative. И мясо. And meat. And nothing happened with the word meat, мясо. But the word fish was changed to accusative case. Хорошо. Um, я ем суп. Суп. Суп is a soup. It ends in a consonant. That means that it's masculine. So not, not, nothing will uh, change, uh, will be changed here in this word. Я ем суп. I'm eating soup. Я ем... Um, я uh, ем, uh, for example, a sausage. I'm eating a sausage. Uh, Russian sausage is kalbasa. It's a, not that small sausages that you can uh, uh, find in uh, Europe or in, or in America. In Russia, we have this uh, big sausage like salami. It looks like salami. Uh, so this sausage, we call it kalbasa. Again, the ending is a, so replace it with u to make it accusative. Есть колбасу. 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 To eat a sausage. Есть колбасу. Есть колбасу. So I replaced a with u to make it accusative. And a few more examples. For, a for example, есть банан. Банан, банан, я ем банан, and in a consonant, so it's masculine, nothing will change in accusative case. Есть банан, to eat a banana, 
есть банан. Угу. Есть яйца. Yes, яйца. The same. Nothing will happen with the word яйца. X. Яйца. Яйца. Here, я is stressed to eat eggs. Есть яйца. Not, no, no, not banana. No, no, no. In accusative, masculine nouns does not change. Есть банан. Я ем банан. Nothing will happen with the word banan. Да. Я ем ужин. Again, masculine noun. Nothing will happen with it. Яйца. Я ем яйца. I eat eggs. Nothing will happen with this word. Яйца. Очень хорошо. That's all for today. Все на сегодня. Uh, not for today, because we will meet in five minutes for another life lesson. Uh, спасибо большое за внимание. Thank you for your attention. Um, the following lesson, the next lesson will be about accusative as well, but it will be a little bit um, easier. It will be with days of the week when we use accusative uh, with days of the week. Хорошо? Спасибо за внимание и увидимся с вами через 5 минут. See you in 5 minutes or in the evening at 7 p.m. Moscow time. Спасибо, пока, чмоки-чмоки.